On March 28, Vinink, president of ASML, visited China in a low-key trip. Not long after ASML officially restricted the sale of lithography machines below 14 nanometers to China, Wenink's visit to China may be a curiosity about the Chinese market, or an investigation of the current state of China's technology. But it can all be summed up in one sentence. The reason for visiting China is that ASML and Wenink still have nostalgia for the Chinese market. According to reports, after meeting with Wang Wentao, Minister of Commerce of China, the two sides conducted in-depth exchanges on ASML's development in China. However, the words that Wen Ninki said in person afterward caused chills in many Chinese people. In Wen Ink's view, if China develops its own lithography machine, it will destroy the global chip industry chain. This sentence is funny, as if China develops its own technology, it has already stood on the opposite side of the world. ASML, which was born in the Netherlands, is the world's largest lithography machine manufacturer and the only company in the world that can produce EUV lithography machines. The title of, King of Chips, is not intrusive on them. With a share of more than 60% in the global lithography machine market, ASML is worthy of this title. Not to mention the market share of EUV technology. It has exceeded 95%. Originally, ASML's technology and the Chinese market formed a win-win relationship of mutual nourishment. However, due to the suppression of China's technology by the United States, ASML was forced to agree to the decision of the United States and banned the sale of many products exported to China. It also includes the most advanced deposition equipment and immersion photolithography system in the world. With ASML's ban on sales to China, the company's order market has shrunk rapidly. After all, China is ASML's third largest market in the world by sales, with sales of nearly 2.7 billion euros. No matter who it is, it is hard for anyone to give up. So Wen Ninki finally started his trip to China after all kinds of entanglements. After the talks between Wen Inger and Chinese Minister of Commerce Wang Wentao, both sides received the confidence of the other party in Sino-Dutch economic and trade. Wang Wentao also said that he would maintain the stability of the global semiconductor industry chain and supply chain. For those goods affected by export controls, ASML said that it will take some time for these controls to be legislated and take effect. In addition, from 2019 to now, ASML has strong confidence in Sino-Dutch trade. We have reason to believe that the arrival of Wenink is a performance of ASML's gratitude. After all, the huge Chinese market has allowed one-third of ASML's revenue to be shouldered in the past two years. But when Wen Ning was interviewed, he said that if China wants to develop its own lithography machine, it is a destructive behavior that will cause impact and chaos to the global chip industry chain. Among Chinese companies, the one that left an important impression on Weninki is Huawei. In Weninki's view, Huawei's strength is unquestionable, but if Huawei wants to make its own chips, it needs to have its own lithography machine. But in Weninki's view, doing so will disrupt the balance of the global supply chain. Some people think that this is Weninki trying to save his respect for his visit to China, while others think that this is an excuse for the United States to restrict the sale of lithography machines. However, the premise of these conjectures is that Weninki has no intention of the Chinese market. This obviously does not match the purpose of his visit to China. So the most likely thing is Weninki's fear of the rapid development of Chinese technology. ASML originally planned to increase the production capacity of EUV lithography machines to 90 units and DUV lithography machines to 600 units in the next three years. In the case of ever-increasing production capacity, China's stable and huge but limited market has become the largest digester of ASML's output. But once China's technology matures and it has the ability to make its own lithography machines, made in China, will be a terrifying existence in the world. On the other hand, Wen Ink's timidity and fear are not unfounded worries. After all, since the second half of 2022, China has been continuously applying eye drops to ASML. For example, last year, Chinese companies expected to bid for 27 lithography machines, and Japanese lithography machine companies contracted 21 sets of large orders, and the remaining six sets were taken over by domestic lithography machine companies. Behind the failure of ASML is the maturing of Chinese technology. 
Coupled with the mass-produced 28 nanometers lithography machine in China, the problem of immersion technology has been solved, and the difficulty of subsequent technology development should be greatly reduced. Moreover, in recent years, China has attracted many technical talents from its own, Taiwan province, and has also injected fresh and powerful blood into the development of China's lithography machine technology. Whether it is a country or an enterprise, the premise of existence and communication is to put profits first. China's current research and development is progressing smoothly. If China's technology progresses, it will really be a kind of destruction. Then face the destruction, after all, if the old doesn't go, the new won't come. Starting with China's continuous development, destroying and rebuilding always leads to a better future.